having the same conflict which you saw in me and now here to be in me. What is Paul saying? Hey, listen, I go through the same things you do. I got the same problems you do. I got the same adversaries you do. He said, which Peter later on says, the same afflictions. He, don't, he said, don't think it's strange that you're going through these things. These are the same afflictions that all the brethren have gone through. It's amazing to me how everybody thinks their problem is special. It is amazing. You talk, no, 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 you don't understand. Oh, yeah, well, I've dealt with this before. We can beat it. No, you don't understand. Well, then why did you come to me for prayer? Well, because I want you to understand this, this is a special problem. You know, I want to look at them and tell them, you're not special. I hate to tell you that. But thank God I've dealt with this before. And we can beat it again. You ought to be rejoicing in that and quit trying to be special. Amen. You don't want something that can't be cured. Amen. Because if you got something that can't be cured, that means even God can't cure it. And if God can't cure it, bye. You're, you're done. Amen. But you have to realize there is nothing that cannot be cured. I don't care how bad your problem is. I know, I know it's to you. It's terrible. Everybody's problem to them is the worst problem in the world. I get that. But it's not true. And it, it, most of the time it comes from ego. It could just comes from selfishness. And I, I want attention. And I want you to agree with me that this is terrible. I will never agree with you about your problem. Why? Because if I agree with you, it's going to get worse. Because if any two agree is touching anything, it's going to be done. I will not agree with you about your problem. Amen? I agree with God about your problem. <laughs> 